Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this low centered SCX10 battery tray. All you need is a stock battery plate, a couple pieces of aluminum and some screws and this is what you get. This is pretty much the lowest center of gravity you can achieve by using full size lithium batteries. This in my opinion is by far the best relocation option if you still want to run full size batteries. So let's see how to make it. This is about all you're going to need for this project. You need the stock SCX10 battery plate along with the two straps that it comes with. You need two pieces of 3 quarter inch angle aluminum cut at 1 and 9 16 inches. You can buy a piece of this material at pretty much any hardware store for around 5 bucks. You're going to need four cap head 3 millimeter screws, eight 3 millimeter lock nuts, four tapered head 3 millimeter screws. These will be going in the top of the plate. You need to countersink them so they don't interfere with your battery. These clamps will make your life a heck of a lot easier if you have some of these. Also you need stuff to measure and mark your parts with. You're going to need a couple of drill bits and you're going to need a hand drill or drill press. The first step is going to be to mount your aluminum angle to the chassis like so. The key is to have them as low and as far forward as possible without interfering with your shocks, your suspension links, or your motor. Do a quick mock up with your battery plate to make sure nothing interferes. And the next step is drilling them to attach them. Next you need to drill your holes and install your screws to fasten these plates to the chassis rails. Make sure your holes are nice and centered on the chassis rail and you install 3 millimeter lock nuts from the back and that's that. For this next step, having a small set of clamps comes in handy once again. We need to attach the battery plate to the angle aluminum pieces we just mounted to the chassis. We do this by drilling 4 holes in the top of the plate and countersinking them. Normally you want these holes to be nice and in line, but I'm going to use these pre-existing countersunk holes, so my other hole is going to be around here. Make sure that this plate is nice and centered on your chassis. Now while they do sell countersinks for countersinking screw heads, I realize that most of you probably don't have that. So all you need to do is take a larger drill bit the size of the head of your screw and gently drill out the holes until you have a deep enough hole to countersink the head. So now the final step is to mount the battery plate to the angle aluminum pieces you made. Basically you need to run your battery strap through the plate first because it gets sandwiched between the two pieces of aluminum. Make sure that your battery strap functions properly still because it is not adjustable once you do this. So there you have it. Once your plate is all mounted up, you now have one of the best cheap and easy performance mods for your SCX10. Your new low center of gravity will make your truck crawl amazing.